This PAX update is brought to you by Magic the Gathering and Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. Well, hey guys, here we are. It is the last day of PAX. It's the final stretch, and uh, I'm exhausted. I'm pretty tired. I got that Joan Rivers voice thing going yeah, on. Yeah, it's coming back though. You, you yeah. were pretty bad this morning. I sounded um, like Duke Nukem. It was terrible. <laughs> anyway, PAX was incredible. Uh, we saw a lot. Uh, Tara, tell me about a video game. Uh, Borderlands 2 is a video game that exists and was here. Not playable. Um, we had a video review kind of thing go up yesterday, so check that out on our YouTube channel. But People were actually pretty angry that we couldn't put gameplay footage in that. And I was like, really? Like, they won't let us. If, if we put gameplay footage in it, they won't invite us back again to see it. But they took us into kind of a dark back room there um, and basically raped our eyes with awesome Gearbox gameplay does that. footage. They, they like do. bringing you in dark rooms yeah. and doing stuff to yeah. your eyes. I think it makes you like the game. And then they like to tease bit. you, but yeah. not let you put it on the internet. So it looks pretty much to be a step up from the original game in every way possible. They've revamped pretty much every system in it. Guns, enemy combat, everything. Um, even the cars now can fit up to four people in them. So I heard that's something really cool. about a baby. Is it true there's a baby in it? There is not a baby in it. I'm pretty but sure there's a baby in it, I accidentally said there was a baby pretty in it sure because it looks like a baby, and then people jumped on my fucking throat for it. Well, speaking of uh, throats and babies, I played Skyrim, which has nothing to do with throats or babies. Um, what can I say? It was everything I hoped it would be. It was everything I expected. Oh, my God. Do you think a, going to see that game with Jim Sterling probably gets you a little bit more pumped about it than you would be otherwise? Jim and I have like pretty similar taste in some things. We both get really excited about stuff. We both yeah. put on stupid little hats and you played Skyrim. Get incredibly and, giddy when you're together. You know, I punched crabs in the face and he went up and set a, a deer's ass on fire. It's a really, really cool game. Um, if for some reason you aren't excited about Skyrim, I really suggest you take a closer look at it because there's so much going on in that game that it's it's just incredible. Now, um, did you actually find out whether or not vampires can get gay married? Or is that still remains to be seen? I think, I think vamp seen? gay vampires can get married. Um, or gay married, which, uh, anyway. So many answered questions. I actually questions. did an interview with um, the lead artist and I asked him some incredibly stupid questions. So we're going to have an interview up for that. Um, I sort of asked him if werewolves were in it. And he didn't really answer me, but he made a face, so maybe, maybe. Maybe. What What's else did you see? Oh, well, I'll go first then. You um, go. I also saw the Darkness 2, which was also at the 2K booth. 2K just kind of had an awesome booth this year. Totally the best one here, in my opinion. Um, yeah, the quad wielding stuff that they showed off, where you can like grab stuff with your left tentacle and like slash up with your right one. And I think it's going to like really amp up the gameplay and kind of give you an entirely different experience. And I liked the first game, and I think I'm really, really going to like this one. Um, what's another game that you saw that you were excited about? Because, you know, Skyrim. Yeah. As you guys all know, I'm a big, big Aliens nerd. Um, Jim and I are both really stoked on that. Um, Colonial Marines is going to be huge. I was really excited about Aliens Infestation, which is a Nintendo DS game. It's basically Super Metroid with aliens and lots of gore and some swearing, and I'm told there's butt cheeks in it. It plays fantastically. It comes out in October, and I mean, I've never really considered pre-ordering a DS game before, but I think I might do that for this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great. We were, I, I was kind of bummed out because they didn't even, they didn't have like a proper booth for it. They had a dude with a, with a DS with him, and you just went over like, hey, can I play? And he's like, okay. And then. Jim and I sat there playing it like a couple of children on a playground. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. I really, I really, Aliens Infestation, check it out. It's going to be cool. Did you get a chance to check out Wildstar? Yeah, I saw some Wildstar. You played it. Uh, what did I you got think? to play it for a while, actually. And there was um, a guy who was a di designer on the game kind of standing next to me the whole time. So he was kind of like narrating me through it. It looks amazing. Like, if you guys are into World of Warcraft at all, you should really check this one out. Like, it's going to be and you're a, kind you're of a, on that level, I think. You're but a big fat WoW nerd, so the fact that it impressed you, that's true. it says something. It's true. I think, you know, like, I'm not a huge fan of the lore in WoW. Um, I'm just more in it for, like, level grinding and stuff, which a lot of people, I mean, personal preference here, but I think this game is going to be really good. You mentioned that the quests, um, they're very light. They, uh, I mean, description-wise, yeah. it's limited to, what, 140 characters? Something like that. He said 140. I don't know if it's that exactly, but basically, like, every every single one of your missions is, like, the size of a tweet, basically. That's, that's hilarious. So, you know, which which is good if, if you're like me and you, you can't read. What else did I... Um, I don't know. What was the biggest surprise? I was actually what, really what surprised and blown away by Lollipop Chainsaw, which, I mean... Yeah, just you based were skeptical. On that, I was kind of skeptical. I like I like Suda 51, but sometimes these games are almost too weird. No More Heroes has that part where you play with your cat. What the hell is that? Um, this actually seems like they kind of focused on it. They're kind of keeping it straightforward. It reminds me a lot of video games from when I was a kid. They were like Earthworm Jim or you know Boogerman, something like that, where it's a really weird concept, and you're not being like force-fed a bunch of story and like 
being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's going to be. A, it's not. It's not going to be. It's not done yet. It's not coming out until 2012 probably. Um, but from what I played, I just jumped into it. You're a cheerleader with a chainsaw, and you cut up zombies, and rainbows shoot out, and hearts come out of them, and you you can do cheerleading moves to fight them too. It's it's just hilarious. It's a really funny game, and I, I was. I was impressed. I actually didn't even get to check that game out here. We've been so busy running around kind of trying to get stuff in. But let's talk about the cosplay for a second because the cosplay is kind of a big deal at PAX. You um, saw some good cosplay. I saw a Misty cosplay I did. Um, I actually tweeted about it, but we're going to show a picture right now. There was a dude going around with, uh, you know, the midriff top and the pigtails. And yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I thought mine was better. That is He's been wearing that outfit for three days. <laughs> and on top of the fact that he looks gross to begin with, no offense, man, sorry. But those jean shorts have got to be kind of gnarly at this point. Yeah. My favorite cosplay, oh my god, it was Poison Ivy and Emma Frost. Poison Ivy has been my, my longtime nerd crush since I was in like first grade. Emma Frost is just, ah, oh, you know, so it was a total like nerdgasm for me. They walked in, I was in the middle of a sentence on camera, and I just went, huh. So we're going to have more stuff for you coming up, but first let's thank our sponsor. Hey guys, just a quick note to mention that all of our PAX coverage this year is brought to you by Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. They've got the full version of the game up right now on XBLA, PSN, and Steam, and I really can't recommend checking it out enough. They've got a free demo up, so if you're not sure whether you want to check it out yet, it's great for learning. It's got an awesome tutorial for, be for beginners, or if you're a seasoned Magic veteran and you just want to perfect your craft. 2012 is a great updated version of the original game. It's got new deck managers, it's got an enhanced co-op mode, and it's got the new arch enemy mode which allows you to play against three different people as a super powerful creature and they're going to have an expansion pack coming out on september 14th of this year that actually lets you play as the arch enemy so be sure to check those games out they're a lot of fun i really can't recommend them enough so we're back guys um pax is pax is a huge community thing that's uh it's kind of incredible right yeah, i mean it's, i mean that's what it is the destructoid panel was a big thing that we we did i was on it you were uh you came up and kicked me in the balls at one point it was kind of ridiculous. I did, actually. And then um, Nero called all of the editors up on stage. I wasn't actually on the panel speaking, but I went up there. And uh, I don't remember how it exactly happened, but somebody, I think it was myself, suggested that I kick you we in the balls. I mean, this is stupid. To describe it is, is not doing it justice. You guys who couldn't actually be there, there will be a video of it sometime soon. But I, I wound up just covered in cake. Uh, I look like I got in a fight with a, like a butt and, and lost. It's just like chocolate frosting all over me. Um, Jim Sterling had a dance off with Sega. Yeah. They brought one of the guys from America's Next Best Dance Crew, who did like backflips and head spins and stuff. And Jim proceeded to take his pants down and and hump submit our uh, our sports editor. Yeah. Um, and then he faked a heart attack. So there was uh, also like a, a makeup contest, putting some makeup on some of the male destructoid editors. I don't there was know a if we're going to be allowed darkness, to pack next year. Darkness sponsored eating contest. That was the cake. Uh, that yeah. cake is never going to come out of that hotel no. carpet. But yeah, Pax is a huge community thing. The destructoid community, we we love you guys. I've I've been just overwhelmed with you guys coming up and saying hello, and um, yeah. it's been it's been fantastic. It's heartwarming. It feels like. Yeah. Um, my Christmas was spent drinking alone, like in Lethal Weapon, so this was a lot better than Christmas for me. This was, uh, for me, a lot better than PAX last year, which was fun, but, you know, it was kind of, I, I went to PAX last year, it was my first one, and I was new at Destructoid at the time, and I was, like, so nervous about all this stuff. I hadn't had much on-camera experience, and now, like, you know, people know who we are. I kind of, you know, it's, it's yeah. a little bit of a power trip, This is my trip, first PAX. PAX. Um, this was my first PAX. Obviously, everybody gets really excited about E3. E3 is so much more work, and everyone's, I mean, it's its a trade show. It's its business yeah. stuff. This is for fans. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's here because they want to be here, pretty mm -hmm. much. Like, and it's and it's huge. And I had a, I had an absolute fucking blast, so. I had a great time. This has been one of the best weekends of my life, I think, honestly. Yeah. So anyway, you guys should stay tuned. Um, if you happen to subscribe to our channel just for coverage, stick around because we do a three times a week show, and we do that. And uh, check out the rest of our PAX coverage yeah. because we did a lot of stuff. We ran around and talked to people. We're going to be back on Wednesday in we'll uh, normal on Wednesday. format. Hopefully I won't sound like this. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.